Hello, my name is Carl Dieter. I'm the ethics officer for Renewa. I am a non-voting, non-member of the party. And I'm here today to talk to you about the code of ethics and how it works in conjunction with canvassing. When you're canvassing, it can be a stressful time. People can be rude, they can be dismissive, they can shut doors in your face. But if there's one thing that you need to remember, always be clear, you need to be respectful of people. This is a country with a wide range of views and not everybody is going to agree with you. You need to acknowledge that and be pleasant in the process. Be open and engaged. If someone doesn't want to hear what you say, you can't make them listen. Try to remember that. And we are there to engage, not to conquer. Conquest and winning, that comes in the poll booth. You have to give people the respect to make their own decisions. So don't try and get them to go with you right there and then. This is about spreading the word of the work that you're doing, about spreading the ideas of the policy that Renewa has put forward, and about making sure that people realize that there's substance and ideas and hard work going into this. It's a valid organization that your work should be rewarded with their vote. I'd also ask that if people say they will vote for you or for your candidate, that you simply shake hands, acknowledge it. Don't forget to be a regular person who acts like a human. When people say they won't consider a Renew a candidate, that's okay. And it's also okay to ask for their second preference. If they say they would simply never vote for a Renew a candidate, that's also okay. This country has a strong tradition of deep loyalties to certain parties that whether they deserve it or not, people will behave the same way. Your job isn't to change that view. What your actual job to do is to best represent your party, your candidate, in the most professional manner possible that you can while you're out canvassing. If someone happens to trash talk or badmouth another candidate or another party, do not reinforce that by agreement. This is one of the most important things I will tell you ethically. We are not there to trash talk. We are not there to backbite. We are not there to do old politics. That's not the message that you ever want to send out. And the reason why is ask yourself, if you were speaking to somebody who was like that, who complained about another candidate or about the work that other politicians have done, which is always hard work, do you want the reputation of being the person who's a backbiter? Would you put your faith in a person who bitches about another person or backbites another person? It's the worst reputation you can have. Don't fall into it. Don't get drawn into it. You don't tacitly or explicitly agree with people complaining about others. Listen, because you're there to listen and engage but you are not there, you are not there to say bad things about other people. This isn't about what other people have done, this is about what you're going to do and what Renewal can achieve. Your job is to show people that by keeping exceptionally high standards, that you and your candidate can be trusted on a national level to make good decisions. And never be afraid to walk away. You simply cannot win all the arguments, in fact, don't even bother arguing. If someone wants to argue, your, your time and efforts are probably better spent elsewhere. I would encourage you as your ethics officer to read aloud the code of conduct before canvassing. Don't just look at it, actually read the words aloud and maybe even watch this video to remind you that you carry your conscience with you and the reputation of the party that you represent into the work that you do. You have to realize that your own integrity and that the integrity of the people who trust you to do this work for them is part and parcel of everything you do while representing Renewa. Most of all, be open and engaged. And remember that it's through a high degree of professionalism that you will impress people. If you want change, be willing to change yourself. That's always been our message. Good luck, it's gonna take a lot of hard work, and the rest of it lies behind you in the doors you're about to knock on.